we're going to be thrifting our look today, but the containers are not going to look thrifty. I'm getting the drip tubing ready because we're going to plant up these containers. Now I have a set of two. They are a matching pair. For all my containers this year, I'm running drip tubing in them. We have an irrigation line, and then here's our drip right here that we're gonna to run to each container. First plant we're gonna use is we're coming in with a beautiful fern, honey. Fern, darling, fern, 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 fern. You guys, this fern is absolutely beautiful and amazing. And this is going to be the first plant that we're going to be starting with here. In order to get the look that we need, I'm gonna have to treat Fern a little hostile. Do I have you all's permission to get hostile with Fern? <laughs> we're gonna have to get in there and we're gonna have to do some work, okay? We are going to have to work this right on out. So Fern, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come in and put Fern on her side. Yes, I know, it's very barbaric. Okay. So now, after we come in, we're going to cut firm right on down. And before I take her apart, this container looks small, right? So I got my first cut in there. The container looks small, but we are going to... We could just put little fern in there by herself and she still will have room. I still will have to go in and I will have to add soil. Even though the container is small, we got a nice deep reservoir. All right, back to what we were doing. Okay, fern, we're gonna cut fern down. Get right on in there and just start working it. Nothing is waste. We cut out our screen. All right, so here's our first plant right here. It looks beautiful, it's giving, but it's not giving what we needed to give. You didn't think I was done, did you? I know you guys didn't. You couldn't have. And I do save my hangers. Same thing, I'm gonna come in. 
I'm gonna make a cut. Okay. Need to add a little bit of texture. I normally use this obelisk with these containers, but we're gonna have to pivot a little bit. Now let's get it in its place. Ciao. Let me go get my assistance. <laughs> Wait, watch your leg. I have my obelisk. And I buy obelisks. I have several pair of these. We use these in one of our spring videos. We've used them throughout the induction of Garden Queen and even before the induction of Garden Queen. But I buy these anytime I'm at a garden center. I don't have a link. And most nurseries, honey, they don't want you finding their source for where you can find these. And oftentimes you can't actually buy them. You have to go to a vendor to get them. So it was just nursery tags when I bought these or simply just the price tag. So I've actually bought these in different states. But I want to use a bigger obelisk. And the only way I'm going to be able to use the other one is if I take this uh, down, this arrangement down, and that's not going to happen. So I think I can nestle this in. If not, we'll go with a smaller set. Hold on. All right, hold on one second. Got our toolbox here. And I take the connector, put the connector in here. And then we'll just feed this right on through. Now you can do this before you even start planting up your, popping your plants in there.
Then I'll come in with my landscape staple here and I'll just staple that on in. 